What's up, Revels? Do you have an affiliate niche site? Do you have a blog that you're trying to monetize, but you can't get people to actually click on the links and buy the products so that you get paid and struggling to monetize that blog? Well, I have got something for you today that I am, well, I am really, really excited about. It's not very often a product comes along that completely revolutionizes and changes the way that I manage my blogging business and my niche sites, but the Lasso Affiliate Plugin, the Lasso Affiliate Marketing Plugin has completely changed the game. It's been a long time since I've been this excited about something and I've spent the last few weeks implementing it on my niche sites, going through the ins and outs, seeing if it really lives up to the expectations I had for it. And well, let me tell you, it does. And so in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of a lasso review. I'm going to tell you all the things I love about this affiliate marketing plugin and how you'd be an idiot not to pick it up and use it on your niche sites, on your affiliate sites, on your blog, if you are trying to make more money through affiliate marketing. So if you want to see why it's so great, if you want to know why I'm talking all excitable like this, besides, well, I mean, I always kind of talk excited like this, but this, this is something I'm very, very excited about, as you can tell. If you want to see that, Let's uh, just get on with it and uh, I will tell you. So do it, right? Intro, go, go, now, go, wait. Yes, now, intro. So in all honesty, Lasso has been completely game changing for my business. And I had all these bullet points that I was going to talk through on the camera here in this setup. But then I realized it's probably going to be a lot easier just to go into my computer, walk you through everything I'm talking about so you can see how great Lasso is in person and how easy it is to use. Uh, so rather than ramble here, let's go pop into the computer and uh, I'll just walk you through what Lasso does, why it might be a good fit for you and your niche site and your blog, and how I think it can frankly, make you some more money. So let's go do that right now. All right, what's up guys? This is only the second time I've ever done a screen share video like this. So if it sucks, bear with me. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best here. But uh, I'm really excited about Lasso, so I wanted to kind of show you everything it does. So like I mentioned, it's an all-in-one affiliate marketing uh, plugin. So it lets you manage all of your links. It lets you create beautiful display boxes to help with the click-throughs and actually get people to click on your links. It integrates with Amazon, so it does a lot of cool stuff there that I'm going to be able to show you. And it makes it easier to display links to your own products and things like that as well. Um, so the best way to kind of show you what it does is just to, you know, show you what it does. So on the back end, you can see the, the dashboard here. Here are all the links that I've created for Location Rebel so far. Um, and creating a link within Lasso is incredibly easy. You literally go add new URL and you paste in uh, your affiliate link or your just link to your product. So if you're doing it on Amazon, it can be any product. So I've got Chris's book, The Art of Nonconformity here. Uh, this is not affiliate link. I'm just going to paste that in, hit create, and it's going to do its thing. So once I do this, it brings in the title. It turns the link into my affiliate link. You can see it's got my location 180 affiliate ID there. Uh, you can see that it brings in the image uh, and the price of the product, and it's going to update the price every 24 hours. So you don't have to worry if you post this two years from now, you don't have to constantly be going back and updating the price. It's already there in your display box if you show it. Um, so let's say, you know, I'm going to add a quick description. Um, this is one of the best books to buy if you want to quit your job and start a lifestyle business. Um, buy now on Amazon. And there we go. So literally all I have to do is hit save. And now I've got a beautiful Amazon affiliate link that is going to be in Lasso. And you'll be able to see it when you go over to the dashboard right here. So that shows up. Okay, cool. You got a link in Lasso. Now what do you do? Well, let me show you. So let's go over to WordPress, do a test post. Um, I'm going to click here. Well, first off, let's say the art of non. So let's say I wanted to turn that into a link. So I just search for art of non. And what's going to show up? There's my lasso link right there. So if I want to add that affiliate link, all I got to do is click there. Good to go. And you can do that with all sorts of stuff. So if you've got hundreds of affiliate links within Lasso, it's now easy to find. You don't have to go searching through menus and folders and guessing to find your affiliate link. It's all there saved for you. So that's great. 
but how is this actually going to make you more money? Well, uh, that's where the display box is coming. So you see the little lasso cactus there. Uh, you click uh, single display. I can then, it's the newest one I've got, so I can search, but I'm just gonna go add, and it's gonna add this short code in here. And what's that gonna do? Well, uh, let's see what that post looks like now. It's gonna open this up, and now I've got a beautiful, oh, there's the uh, pop-up. Uh, now I've got a beautiful box with all of the information I've got in there, uh, and the up-to-date price. So you can see it's got the image, it's got the title, it's got the price of the book, it says the price was updated on May 31st, um, and I can change the text to whatever I want. So this is all customizable, the look and the feel is all customizable, um, it's a super powerful thing. So if you've got an affiliate post, if you've got a resources post, if you're trying to promote a product, um, rather than just burying your affiliate link in the text, uh, this is an elegant way that you can put it into the blog post itself while still looking good. It's relatively not obtrusive and it can make your posts look better and increase your click-through rate. So let's take a, a look at how I implemented it on Slightly Pretentious. So here we've got 10 essential cocktail tools that every home bar needs. So if you go down here, every single recommendation I've got, I've got a lasso link. So you click here, um, and that all just got automatically brought in. It literally took me about 30 seconds to create each of these. All I did here was customize the uh, text on the button and customize the description. And there's a lot more stuff you can do. So let's look at what we can do um, in here. So we can also add a secondary button. So let's say you wanna give someone an Amazon link and you wanna actually link to the company. Uh, you can add two buttons there. You can add an affiliate disclosure uh, right here. So if you wanna say, this is an affiliate link, you get paid. If you wanna make sure that you're up to date with all of the FTC guidelines, you can add that here. Uh, you can toggle whether or not you want it to show the price, show the description, show the disclosure. Um, so you have a ton of customizability with what you can do here. And that's super powerful. So that's just one thing you can do. But let's say that, uh, you know, maybe there's a product you've talked about a ton in the past, but they didn't have an affiliate program. Um, now, all of a sudden, they do have an affiliate program, and you've got a ton of blog posts that don't have affiliate links. So how do you update those links easily without having to go back and search through every single blog post individually? Well, pretty simple. Um, you add a keyword. So let's say I want to, uh, every time I mention Chris Gillibo, let's say I want to make that an affiliate link for his book, The Art of Nonconformity. So we'll... Emergency alert, there's a curfew tonight. So I don't know what city you're in, but uh, we're still going through that whole thing. So I'm gonna add a keyword for Chris Gillibo and I'm gonna hit save. So what that's gonna do is for every keyword that I've set there, it'll tell me where there are opportunities across the site to add my affiliate link um, where that's set. So every mention of Chris Gillibo, that will come up as an opportunity Art of for me. So you'll now see there are 44 opportunities. So there are 44 places on my site that I have mentioned Chris Gillibo. And if I want to, you know, change, you know, the, the blog post, the mental evolution of a cubicle dweller, I mentioned Chris. Literally all I have to do, click monetize, add that link. Now all of a sudden a link is at, an affiliate link is added to that post. And that took me what, five seconds? And so I can go through and do that every time. So let's say, for instance, uh, ConvertKit, my email marketing software. Let's say that you know they changed their affiliate program, which they did recently, and I don't want to have to go through and manually change all the links. I can add a ConvertKit keyword to my ConvertKit lasso link, and literally all I'm going to have to do is go through and just hit monetize on all of those. So all of a sudden, it's a super efficient way to update your links on old posts um, and to keep track of everything that you're doing. Okay, now what's this, uh, what's this groups all about? So what's the difference between a group and a keyword? So a group is a way you can easily group together different uh, products in different lists so that you can display them in a meaningful way. So for instance, productivity books. I've got a group for my favorite productivity books. Um, which are all right here. So I've got Atomic Habits, I've got Limitless, Deep Work, and Indistractable. So I added a tag that just said productivity, and I've got a group that is productivity books. Okay, so let's say I've got my group, my productivity books group, I just hit add a lasso display, and instead of single display, I hit grid display. So I've got my productivity books group, 
I hit add, it adds in a short code. And now with doing nothing else, it is going to add a grid of all of those posts. So now, as you can see, we've got my, my group here with all my recommendations for productivity books that shows up easily. So if you're doing a resources post where you're talking about different types of books, productivity books, business books, cooking books, whatever it is, uh, you can have you know little groups for each of those. And all you have to do is literally click a couple buttons and it's gonna add this grid in there. So it's gonna make it much easier to add the affiliate links in a really easy to digest way, both for the reader and for you. Um, it makes your life a lot easier. Um, I also love this feature up here, this read this first, you see this little badge here? So that's fully customizable across any um, any lasso link. So if I go back here, um, let's go to dashboard. And what you're going to see is you go in, you find your link. We'll go back to uh, the art of nonconformity. There's a thing that says badge text. So, you know, maybe I want to say something like great alternative to, uh, if I can spell for our work week. We'll save that. We'll go back here, get rid of this. We'll re-add the link to Chris's book, the boom. We'll preview it. And now all of a sudden at the top of the post, you'll see great alternative to four hour work week. So you can add calls to action and make it super easy to customize all of those things. And if you've got a big list of things, you can just say our pick, best of. Uh, there's all sorts of ways you can do this. This is a really small feature. Uh, but it's super, super powerful um, when you're trying to get people to actually click through on your affiliate links. So in settings, you can go in, you can add your license code, you can add your Google Analytics code so that it'll track all of your clicks. Um, but hopefully you're starting to see why this is so powerful. So I'm just getting started implementing this on Location Rebel. I've gone a little bit farther with uh, Slightly Pretentious. Um, so you can see I've got like, you know, all of my links for all my preferred bar tools, for my favorite uh, cocktail books. Um, and I'm really proud of the way that it, it turned out. I mean, you look at this and it looks pretty good. Um, and like I said, all of these boxes, this is, you know, there's six different themes for how these boxes look. Um, and each one of those is fully customizable. You can change the colors, you can change how it's displayed. Uh, so I think this is the cutter one. It's kind of based off the wire cutter look, uh, which I really like a lot. And so that's the one I've implemented across all of my posts. Um, but like I said, this is a fairly new plugin. Uh, there's a couple things that, you know, still need to be worked on um, in terms of, you know, the monetization strategy. So like you said, um, with Chris, we've got 44 different opportunities here. Um, it's still difficult to know the context for each of these different items. So you still have to open it up, do a search for Chris, um, see where I added it so I can go. So right here. Um, you know, I could say, okay, that works. And then I can go back, hit monetize, and I'm good to go. Um, some very loud cars outside right now. Um, but you can start to see the opportunities here. Not only does it make it super easy to put affiliate links into your posts, uh, but it also makes it super easy to display them and is a very powerful thing. Um, on top of that, one other thing that I will show you that is, uh, I've been using it for, and I'm actually going to start using it for, is my own posts. So I don't have a ton of really big calls to action for Location Rebel, but there's no reason I can't add calls to action using this. So it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, an affiliate link. It's You can add something, you can add any kind of call to action to any link you want. So for instance, single display, I created uh, one here for Location Rebel Academy. So let's hit add, preview. And I can add this to the bottom of every single post. Um, and I can have custom ones for, you know, freelance posts or niche site posts. So if you want to learn more about Location Rep, okay, if you want to learn more about Location Rebel Academy, you can do that here. Someone's now walking in behind me and ruining my video. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so as you can tell, I'm super excited about Lasso. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of how easy it is to use and the different possibilities it has for your site. I know there's features that I'm missing that it can do. Uh, but overall, I've been really pleased. Uh, for those of you wondering how much it is, it is $19 a month per site you use it on. Uh, and if you have even a little bit of traffic, uh, you should be able to make back that $19 a month through the increased click-throughs to your affiliate links. Uh, they also have a 14-day trial, so I would definitely check that out. Um, and of course, 
I've got an affiliate link for it. They've got a great affiliate program. So if you want to check it out, click the link below. Uh, no extra cost to you, and it helps me out if uh, you end up joining. But uh, affiliate link or not, I am super um, impressed with this plugin. I love it. I'm going to use it across all of my sites. I'm still working on getting it implemented across the board, uh, but you're going to start seeing a lot more of these boxes and a lot more lasso uh, features across both Breaking 80, Slightly Pretentious, and here at Location Rebel. Uh, but with that, let's uh, throw it back to, well, me in the basement. Close this out. All right, and with that, I hope you enjoyed this Lasso review. We've got new videos every Monday and Thursday, so make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we got a new video. And uh, if you like this, give this a uh, little thumbs up. There's a, a link below. You get a 14-day free trial of Lasso, so I, you got nothing to lose. You might as well try it out. I highly recommend you take a look. After the 14 days, it's $19 a month per site you use it on. Uh, but honestly, there's no way, if you've got even a little bit of traffic, there's no way that uh, Lasso is not going to make you at least an extra 19 bucks a month. I've been using it on Slightly Pretentious for two weeks, and it's probably already added an extra $150 to what I'm doing. I am that much of a believer. I love this product. You have probably seen that through my enthusiasm. Not that I'm not always enthusiastic, but a little extra enthusiastic about this. If you're still not sure what type of lifestyle business you want, then click this playlist right, nope, this playlist right here. And uh, it's just three videos and it's gonna help you figure out which of these is the best way for you to go. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go check out locationrebel.com, go check out this playlist, go check out Lasso in the link below, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Have a good day, peace.